All right, guys, I guess here we go again. I'm here at work, chilling, you know, with all the chemical, all the good stuff. And this little guy just come walking through here. So we got to get him out of here. Look at that. Look at the little indention there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got to be, gotta be a male. But anyways, uh, yeah, he is sitting here just a pooping and a peeing away. So either we're going to find him somewhere safe to go or we're going to take him home. I don't know yet, but he's just a little guy. Super cute. Don't know what kind of turtle, but we'll turn you around, let you look at him. So it's early in the morning, guys. But yeah, the two forklift drivers are just driving around him, scared the tar out of him. So, but yeah, let's turn you around. Look at this little cutie. Like I said, he was scared, just pooping and peeing. So, but yeah, he was in a very dangerous spot, guys. Not okay. So we're going to go find a box to put him in so he can, you know, have somewhere safe to ride with me today. All right, guys. Oh, I guess we should show you the back of a shell. Super cute. And the poo stinks so bad. Yeah, I was just thinking, too. I know you're, you know, the rule of thumb is to help them on their way, the, the direction that they're going or whatever's clever because, you know, they'll get confused and they'll get lost. So that's why most likely this guy's going to come home with us because I can't just drop him anywhere. So, yeah, we might just have three turtles now. But you know me, I'm the turtle guy. Well, I love turtles. So, but yeah, there's no, there was no way of telling which direction he was going. Like I said, there was two sort forklifts circling him. They were all excited about him and stuff. And you know me, I jumped out and was like, hey, what's going on? So, but yeah, there was no feasible way of finding out which what direction he was going. Cause he was running in circles. He was scared. So, you know, DSB animals going to take care of him though. Boy, howdy. Huh. Beautiful. All right, everybody. Well, he was out just a second ago, but I put another towel in there to make it extra, extra soft. So, guys, that's got to be a male. Look at the look at the indention on the belly. That way, he can hop on a female. That's got to be a male. But y'all know me, novice. So, but he's got a good little spot sitting right here next to me. It's safer than being in this chemical yard, and we'll figure it out. Guys, he's just gonna have to come home with me because I don't want him getting lost and confused. And he's too cute. All right, guys, yep, yeah, finger um, had a break because we are being pounded. I'll turn, it's just easier to turn you around. Um, being pounded by a sandstorm, and this is, this is probably five hours later. But, guys, I think he might be, well, if he lets go of the towel, guys, I think he might be a mud turtle. I'm not too sure, but what I've got been able to look up so far, which I'll be able to do more when I get home. I think he's a mud turtle. So it's been a rough day. Bumpy lease roads, everything else. Ah, oh, it's just been a rough day. So, and he's got the cutest little feet ever. You got cute little feet, cute little butt. So, but he's doing good. I've got him back here in this box, like secured more than secure could be. More secure than my seat belt, huh, Cupa? So, yep, got stopped by a sandstorm, so I figured I'd just chime in here. All right, bud. Oh, hold on, I gotta fix your tail. <laughs> See you shortly. 
and one second later we're back but yeah we're being pounded by a freaking sandstorm so i'm hoping it'll calm down here in a minute almost broke my leg because the wind closed it on my, the door on my leg so oh well that's why i wear a hat but anyways we are home as you can tell because if you watch any of my videos you know my garage um guys i think he's a mud turtle uh, a stink pot turtle something like that and what's blowing my mind is why is he out here in west texas we don't have any water it's just not possible um he's doing really good guys y'all let me know what y'all think I'm telling you, he's got little web feet and everything. She's just so cute. Anyways, y'all let me know. Tell me what you think. I'm going to put him in the box turtle enclosure for now. Because then at least he'll still have a bucket, a bucket lid full of water and everything to get in. And I guess company. And yeah, I got to figure out all kinds of good stuff for him to eat and stuff. I'm being stocked. Oh, I see you. Mm-hmm. You definitely ain't going in this tank. He's over there. Yeah, I was being stocked by a fathead. Why, why do you always want to eat me? You are so grumpy. Then you want to show me your butt. I'm going to feed you. I'm about to get everything out. Gosh. I got to work to feed you, homie. <laughs> I ain't going to stick his booty in there. But anyways, we're going to put him over here. We're going to get fresh vegetables and all that stuff. I need to find out what he eats. Um, we got to clean their water bowl. But that would just be a safe spot for him now. Because truthfully, if he ends up being a must turtle, I do know a pond over here that I go catch minnows at that has you know shallow areas deep areas all kinds of fun stuff all you know marsh a little marsh areas when it rains that he would just love my bad that was dinner but yeah i just got to do some more research i think he'll be safe in the box turtle enclosure for now all right but before we put him anywhere it is bath time because I think he got into some chemical at my yard. And we're about to wash that off. But what's cool, is we got a little one to toothbrush. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I know. It's probably the noise. But, brother, we got to get that stuff off of you. Cutie pie. All right, guys. Be back. worked like a charm so we're going to keep that because i lost my other toothbrush that i was cleaning everybody with that's a good dirty hat oh oh there he is anyways gave him a good cleaning filled up the sink just to see because that way i know his feet would come out brother's got web feet and i was wrong i already have looked up what they eat and stuff so i mean mutt must turtles mud turtles stink bark turtles whatever's clever they don't even get very big they only get to like four or five inches but they're happy with turtle pellets and all that good stuff and fish and all the stuff i feed my turtles but i'm thinking someone let him go and he ended up making his way into my yard and luckily i found him so guys let me know what kind of turtle is he just so i know Research I'm doing, he's a mud turtle. God, I hope I'm right. So, we are doing our thing, and I believe it was chemical on his back. Oh, what do you, oh finger. Check him out. And from what I understand, they're not good swimmers. So, I mean, they, you know, run out of breath pretty quick. Let's see if we can get zoomed in on them feet. 
still got a little something there on his back I couldn't get off. So it'll wear off when he sheds his shell. Oh, yeah, work recording, sorry. He does have some boo-boos on his feet, but it's it's been, goodness gracious. Yeah, you feel better, huh? Got you a bath, now you look all pretty and stuff, or handsome. But it does have some boo-boos on the feet, but it's like I said, it's been freaking 107, 105, all that good stuff. So, yeah, just wanted to show you some boo-boos. But right now, we're just gonna put him in here. <laughs> that way he can run. He's been in my truck bouncing around all day. So Luna and Valdora will come say hi in a minute. I am gonna start cleaning the bathtub. Oh, well, that didn't take you long at all, sir. Yeah. Hey, can I, can I see you real quick? He says no, I'll go back to my house. Come here. <clears throat> I mean, look at them feet. Those ain't no web feet. You don't go in the water. Right. But hopefully y'all will get along for a minute until I can figure out if I'm gonna put him in here or not. Well, and if you can't tell, I'm having a dilemma here of deciding if I wanna keep him or not. But I'm 98% sure I wanna keep him so bad because he's so cute. So, but he loves the water. The water's his thing. So yeah, I'll just turn you around and show you. Come on. And Valdor's interested. He, Valdor's used to getting his butt kicked. But he's just happy as a bug in the rug in water. Yeah, aren't you cutie pie? All right, let me go cut some veggies and stuff and do some more research. And I told Valdor to be nice because he's always getting his butt kicked. Now there's someone smaller, you know he's gonna want to kick some booty. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. <laughs> they were all together when I had the house over here. You can see he's just chilling there. He's got scared, but I moved the house because it's feeding time. And these two hogs, yeah, they don't miss out on feeding time. But it was cute. They were all three together. I should have got it on video, but it's fine and dandy. So I think our little... God, just look at the difference in the size. No, y'all quit fighting over there. There's so much in there. Come on now. Anyways, they're doing good. All right, guys. Um, I am actually falling over. That was great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You remember, it's not a finger, it's a whole hand. Anyways, we're just going to deal with this. Uh, I am actually begging for your comments right now. Let me know, all you turtle people out there, let me know what kind of turtle I have. I am pretty sure he's a mud stink pot turtle. Um, you know me, do all my research with Google and uh, YouTube, all that good fun stuff. Sorry, I'm playing a state of survival as I'm doing this. But guys, let me know, I need help. So DSB Animals asking for help. And we're, we're gonna come back here in a little bit and we're gonna check on him, <coughs> excuse me, and see how he's doing. We're gonna give him a couple hours, but you know, at least he has somewhere to swim and all that good fun stuff. And guys, where my work is, there's no water around for 20, 30, maybe 40 miles. So, and then it's this little man-made pond that he would have to cross over a four lane highway. So, I mean, it's just, it's a four lane highway, then another highway. I mean, it, it's, it's ridiculous. I don't understand how he would have made it out there and looking at his, the pads of his little feet, he's been running around on this little hot caliche dirt, all that stuff for a long time. And he looks a lot better now that I gave him a bath. So, guys, you know me. I want to take care of him the right way. Help me out. Leave me some comments, guys. We'll check back here in a little bit. Just saying a like wouldn't, wouldn't hurt any either. All 
our little guy was hungry. Yeah. And Valdor is still out too. Valdor is excited about having a newcomer. Linda don't care. She's in bed. But guys, he's doing really good. We're gonna got him something to eat there. He's done been out and buried underneath this log, explored everything, but I think our little guy was hungry. I think it's been a while since he's had a good meal. All right, so I guess I was wrong. Must Tuttles, must or mud turtles are here in West Texas. I don't see how, because they like the water. We don't have water. It just doesn't add up for me. Okay, Jeffrey says that he's caught m mud turtles out here all the time. So, it's my first one to see in 10 years. But anyways, you know, he was in a bad spot. Now he's in a good spot, so. And Jeffrey says it's a mud turtle, but I still want to hear from you guys. What do y'all think? Is it a mud turtle? <laughs> Isn't she cute? Look at her, she's so pretty. And fish are doing good. ADD, sorry. But anyways, guys, we're gonna end it here. We'll keep you updated on him. He's a lot of fun to have. He's very energetic. I wanna make something deeper for him to swim in because he seems to like hanging out with Valdor and Luna so far and Valdor just loves him. I mean, they're just two peas in the pods right now. So I'm gonna do some more research, get to looking at things, for, you know, cause I'm seeing tank setups and everything for most turtles, but I want to do something spectacular, which you know I'll record it and I will definitely share it with you guys. But on that note, we're going to end it. I'm getting comfy, kicked up on the desk, enjoying my tanks. And guys, like I always say, I appreciate you watching. And until next time.